welcome back to shop with sammy um sorry if we hear an echo i am in my bedroom and you guys are getting me in the raw this is sunday morning <coughs> still have that dry cough it is sunday morning john's outside mowing the lawn the kids are in their rooms playing and i could not wait to do this haul you guys can see uh I went to Marshalls and Home Goods last night with the kids and the hubs and kind of background here. Not, is it a background? You guys, I'm already a hot mess. Anywho, we had a gift card that our friend Tina sent us when we moved into the house in November. And so I was like, you know what? I want to go and I want to get things for our bedroom because those of you that are new, we moved into our house in November. It's the first house we've owned. And we've updated the master bedroom and then we kind of like stopped. And after watching Crafty Girls kind of like uh, like home decor update for fall, I was like, you know what? I want some nice stuff. And I not that my crafts and my DIYs and stuff aren't nice. It's just sometimes I don't want to make it. Like I don't want to spend the time to make it. I want to go out and buy something and I very rarely do that like most everything you see in my house is either garage sale thrifted or I made it from Dollar Tree stuff or whatever so very rarely do I spend money like this um like and I mean very rarely um I even I definitely have buyer's remorse every time I leave. And I even told my husband, I go, I don't even want to tell them the total because I'm so embarrassed. What's up? Hey, we're going to question. What? For you. Okay. I'll tell you later. Okay. Like paint for a table. Oh, okay. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So you guys, I can't wait. I can't wait because I'm really excited um, I don't know. I didn't buy anything for the living room, which you think would be the first thing, but yeah, I don't know where we're going with our living room yet, but I knew I wanted after seeing crafty girls video, I really wanted to decorate our master bedroom. I was like, it's, we just redid the flooring and painted and everything. And I'm like, I want to love being in here. You know, I want to feel cozy. So we got stuff for the master bedroom. And then I got stuff for the kids bathroom, which is kind of like the guest bathroom that everybody uses when they come into the house. Like we have friends or something, you know, um, but I'm going to start there. And I think with like my master bathroom, I'm going to use items that like I've crafted or upcycled. And then the same thing with the living room, I think I'm going to go more like shabby chic. If any of you saw my newest, um, IOD crockery stamps video, the pumpkins and stuff I made, I feel like I'm gonna go more that route in the living room. Um, kind of just like vintage -y greens, oranges pop here and there. So yeah, I can't wait to show you guys this stuff. I am so, I think I just, I've been talking for like five minutes already and haven't even shown you, but I just never spend money like this. And, um, uh, there's still some stuff that I'm like, I can't believe you spent that much money on a pillow kind of thing, you know? So no judging here. I don't do this often and mama deserves it. Okay. So for the bedroom, you guys are going to think that, well, I think it's so funny. My husband cannot stand the color yellow. When we first met, we would ask each other like over text, like 20 question game, you know? And I said, what are the top three things that you don't like? And one of them was the color yellow. So we go in there and we were looking at the bedding because our brand new bedding, we put it, that's um, we put it in the wash and I think it's definitely the actual comforter that's doing it because it didn't happen with any clothing or blankets before or after its cycle. But like this humongous like brown stain is on the bottom of the comforter. And the only thing I could think of is it's something inside the comforter that the stain's like bringing up. So I need to contact overstock.com because literally it has not been that long. But so we're looking at the comforters. This is going to be a very chatty video. We're looking at the comforters 
And my husband sees this one, he goes, I don't know why, but I like it. And you guys, look at what color it is. It's like mustard yellow and a cream color. And I'm all about it. I am all about it. I was shook that he liked it and it was the color yellow. And he was like, I don't know. I just feel like we need like a pop of color in the bedroom. And I'm like, I'm, I'm not talking back. Like I ain't saying nothing. If, if you like this, I like it. Like you, let's do it. So, um, this actually, they have a really large, large selection of comforters. I went to the Marshall's home goods combo here. And of course got this in the home goods section. This is cloth and canopy, canopy three piece comforter set. Includes a comforter and two shams, which this one that I have on the bed now, we got on overstock.com and it was the same price. Um, and it came with the same amount of stuff. So this is what it looks like. Oh gosh. That's what it looks like on the bed. And so this sparked the whole kind of co color combo that we're going to go with in the bedroom, which is like this mustard yellow color. Okay. So this was $79.99. And you guys, usually I would only pay that for like a bed in a bag, not just a comforter and two shams. But to be honest, I feel like that's like the overall price for them now. I think I'm thinking like $80 better in a bag for like a queen or something. Hank sees a dog outside. So this is beautiful. I am going to be doing a video on, I think Unicorn Desk Designs of the, the bedroom transformation. So I got that and then I got this beautiful, this is actually by Nicole Miller, which I always see her makeup <coughs> at like Marshalls and stuff, but I didn't know she had like blankets and things like that. This is Artelier Decorative Throw 50 by 60. This one was $24.99, but look at how gorgeous this is. Has the tassels on the bottom and it's kind of, I don't know what to call this, you guys, the kind of like yarn it is. It's super soft. It matches, I'm going to break something, perfectly with the comforter. And we will put this at the end of our bed because when we go um, to sleep at night and stuff, we always put like right now I have a sheet down on the end because Memo, uh, she sheds a lot. So we kind of, we keep something like this on the end of the bed so they can lay on this instead of like the cream color comforter so it doesn't like show up everywhere. And then we just kind of fold it back like down in the morning so you can't see the fur. Does that make sense? So we like open it up when we go to bed so it covers the entire bed. And then we fold it back down during the day so all the fur is in the folded part. You know what I'm saying? So if you have doggies, that's an idea. I had to think of something because I wanted a nice comforter and I was so sick of getting like the darker colors and grays and all that stuff. I'm like, no, <laughs> we just bought all of this new like bedroom stuff. Like I want to get something nice for us. So yeah. Why hasn't Rockstar sponsored me yet? Okay, anyway. Okay. You guys are gonna think I'm absolutely insane and I have never, ever, ever, ever in my life, my mom would probably kill me if she watched this video and knew that I spent $24.99 on a throw pillow. Usually, I just get like the standard white, you know, 18 by 18 pillows and I buy pillow cases and change them out. But like I said, I want something nice for us. Like I don't ever. I even told the cashier, I said, I can't believe I'm spending this amount of money on a pillow, but it is like the nicest pillow. Look at this. Look at that. It's stunning. Look at all the details in that. Oh my goodness gracious. And then we got the mustard yellow, and this is like a, like a feather pillow. Like it's not even, I wonder, 
There's a zipper right here. So I'm like, can you take this off and wash it or? Yes, you can. So I could even change, well, that's nice to know. I could change out the case. So I could simply just buy another, let me see what size is this. This is by Harvest & Co. 100% cotton, feather filled, fluff it up for fullness. I'm sure this is an 18 by 18, 100% duck feathers. Well, that's kind of sad, um, but yeah. So I got this, I think it's gonna look so gorgeous and go perfectly with kind of like the boho vibe the comforters getting are giving off. And this was $24.99, you guys. I know it's like, it is crazy to spend that much on a pillow. Y'all do not have to remind me because I will be thinking about that all the time, but it does make me feel better knowing that I could just take the case, the cover off and then keep using the pillow on the bed through seasons and just buy like different um, covers like on Amazon, which is what I do for the living room pillows. So I got that for our bedroom and then I got these for the bedroom. Now these, so stinking adorable. So I got this one for our, um, let me show you guys real quick. Oh, I need to cut the little strings off. So there's like my little reading nook right there with my fireplace and stuff. And you can see like the chair is cream colored. So is my little throw blanket. So I got, no, this one I got for over there, I think. I don't know which one, but I think it was this one. Or it's this one. No, this one's going to go on the bed, I think. Okay. Anyways, one of these is going to go over there in the reading nook to add just like a little pop over there. And y'all, this is gorgeous. This is by Well Dressed Home. It just says decorative pillow. And this was $12.99, but oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Look at the little palms are, and they're not even, I need to cut all this. Like there's like a bunch of like cotton and stuff like that. But the like yarn spelling out happy fall, the felt leaves and flowers and the little clusters and then look at even like the outside trim and then the back is yellow and of course too i mean look at like the crocheted looking pumpkins this is gorgeous and again you guys this is stuff i would never buy myself usually yeah i buy stuff and i do hauls but that stuff is for like crafting and I'm you know what I'm saying like I don't buy it for me for personal use I buy it for work so going out and buying something I like how I have to keep on validating to you guys why I'm spending the money you know what I spent my money I worked hard for it so I'm not gonna do it anymore <laughs> okay and then there's this one. Oh man did I get a crappy pillow no it's fine there's just a little bit of <coughs> cotton coming out of it but look at how gorgeous this one is. I love green. Like, love, love, love green. It's my favorite color. Great. Now he's going to start mowing. You guys are going to be hearing that. This is this is going to be an awesome video. This one is by Harvest Moon. The other one was Well Dressed Home. This one's by Harvest Moon, and it was $9.99. So beautiful. Again, the details on the side, the pumpkins pretty that white pumpkin is so gorgeous so all of those were for the room I got more stuff for the room let me show you and then I'll show you what I got for the kids um so I found this so again I wanted like a few pops of green in here and orange with the mustard yellow I think it's gonna be absolutely gorgeous these actually have LED lights in them. Let me see if I can like take the tag off and turn this on so we can see it. This was $16.99. And for me, I'm going to say only $16.99. I was really shocked when I picked these up because they had all different sizes and colors. I mean, they had ones with like, I might go back and get some. Um, they had like pearls and Oh, cool. I didn't know you had to get your own batteries. I thought it was like pull the tab out and turn it on. No, you need your own batteries, which I think I have. Um, 
but if you could see it, it's like that crackled glass. You can see the little fairy lights in there. This was only $16.99 and this is really big. And like I said, they had them in tons of different colors, designs, like not just crackle, but they even had like a clear glass one, which I was debating on that had like these little gold like leaves on them. They had ones that had like pearls and crystals going like halfway down. There were so many of them. And this is by the brand Made in India. So that's what the tag looks like on them. Made in India. So I got this one and I got this gorgeous one. It looks like mercury glass. They had this in black too, which would be so pretty for Halloween. You could see like this one has the silver, kind of like antiqued stem. So gorgeous. And this one was $12.99. I think these were the two sizes they had. I don't think they had smaller than this one. And I don't think they had bigger than the green one. So I love this. I'm going to probably put these on the dresser underneath our TV with like some, um, candle holders and all that. Okay. So the last thing I think for the bedroom that we got, which you guys will see again, I'm going to do a decorate with me video. So I found these at home goods and they were only $19.99. And I think that is such a great price for these because these are so popular right now that they are pricey. Even if you look on Facebook Marketplace and people are selling their old ones, they are selling them for quite a bit of money. So I thought these were right up my alley. Like they look like they've been sitting outside and are like dingy and falling apart and dirty. Like can you see all of like the grime and they, I just think they're really well done on the front. Like I said, totally like they even have like this paper, I don't know. So we got two of these because we were either thinking to put them on like above our nightstands or on the side of our TV. So we got two of them. And I think we're gonna put them on the side of the TV because I don't know, um, I want little like lamps on the nightstands, but I feel like I need to pick out the lamps before I pick out what's gonna go behind them. And I think I actually might make what goes behind them because I have an idea in my head, but we'll see. I feel like our bedroom is like a boho farmhouse kind of vibe. And I could easily switch it up because we have, it's pretty neutral in here. Uh, got this for our bathroom. We've had one set of rugs that we've had, that we brought from the old house so we've had them for like a couple years that we've been using in the master bathroom. And our floors are gorgeous. My husband put them in. Let me show you real quick. Sorry, I'm gonna spin you guys around. So he put those gorgeous floors in and uh, they have grays in them. So I grabbed these. So there's like the short one and the long one. So like this one would go in front of our shower, this one in front of the bathtub, but look at the details in that. And this came in a gray, a tan, and like a darker charcoal gray. This would be like the light gray. But do you see all of that beautiful detail? And then we have like a white kind of like farmhouse boho, shower curtain so again very neutral and that's how i want to kind of keep the room that's why we decided on like the white furniture and stuff because we could really go any way with it so this was twenty dollars this is by french connection and again it's a set of two cotton um rugs so that was 20 bucks i did not think that was bad for how detailed these rugs were so got that Let's Okay, the last, I think, fall thing is this, which I got for the living room because I actually uh, thrifted a 
uh, threshold blanket. It was like $4.99. It's this beautiful knitted, it's kind of like a brown color. So I had that downstairs and then I found this one, which I thought was really pretty. And it's so soft and furry. This was $16.99 and it's by The Prairie by Rachel Ashwell. This one, I don't know. Now I'm thinking I might return it and get something else because how I was talking to you guys about like the whole shabby chic vibe and I don't know. Now I'm like, I don't know if I want this like orangey out there. I mean, it does have like the tans and the white. So maybe, maybe I'll have to decorate and then I could like throw this on the couch while it's still on the hanger and stuff and see if it goes. But it is seriously so soft, so soft. I love this. So we got that for the living room. Now for the kids bathroom, I don't know how this happened, but I ended up going Halloween. So that's fine with me. I'm like, we don't really have a lot of people. We don't have family here. So it's not like people come into our house. That's what John said. He goes, it's not like people come into our house, like decorate for Halloween if you want to. So I think September I'll do their bathroom since it's Halloween and then it could stay up a couple months. So that's fine with me. So I think it started because of these. Sorry, almost forgot. So, so it started because I found these. And I will post a picture of these on my Instagram because there was three other little prints and they were so, why, why did they put the tag like right there? Are you going to? Don't be a bugger to take off. Anyways, this is Mia and Co. They just reminded me one of the Ray Dunn bottles that they sell there. And then the images were just so good. So good. Look at that. Look at the little sparkle on the pumpkin too. How cute is that, right? Now, this is sweet pumpkin. I do not like pumpkin smell. I do not like... Um, anything that smells like food. So like candles, my uh, wax melts and stuff. I am not a food person. I don't want to smell food. This though is going in the kids bathroom. So I was like, you know what? Like I don't really like really use that restrooms and I know the kids would love it. So I was like, I'll put this down in the kids bathroom. So this is what started the whole Halloween thing in the kids bathroom because uh, they didn't have any fall ones, which were weird in this brand. They had other fall ones, but not in this brand. So that's what started the kids' bathroom. But then I found two, this one, and I wasn't sure if I wanted this in the kids, but now I think I'll put this, maybe in my bathroom or the kitchen. Now, don't get me wrong, y'all. I am like a Bath & Body Works uh, foam hand soap kind of gal. And I do have a bunch of bottles of those, but I I really loved like, you know, the decor factor of these. This one smells amazing. Oh, sorry. And this, you guys, was $4.99, that Mia and Co one. This one's Nature's Harvest Sunflower and Citrus Hand Soap Infused with Essential Oil. And look at how beautiful the label is on there. And it has like the fake amber um, bottle here. It even has like the wood detail. And this one was also $4.99 and this one smells so good. Yeah, this one smells like a lot like citrus. And I kind of like poured the soap out when I was at the store on accident. Don't worry, I just wiped it on my pants. Uh, and then I found this one, which I would have got more of these if I had found more, but I only found one. It's by Body Prescriptions. It's pumpkin spice. Again, not something I love, but um, I guess I could put it in, I don't know, maybe the kitchen or something. I mean, I wash my hands a lot at the kitchen sink. I don't know, maybe I'll get over it. Anyways, this one was only $3.99. So if you're going for the blues and stuff this year, this one is pumpkin spice and it's a foaming hand soap. It doesn't say it's antibacterial or anything. Just says foaming hand soap infused with shea oil. So I thought this one was like super like clean and sleek looking. 
if you're going for that vibe. And I like that it had the blues in here. And I could even use this in my master bedroom bathroom because I'm not sure where we're going with that. And the blues might look good in there. I don't know. So that one was $3.99. And then, you guys, my husband has been sick and tired of me buying the body washes at Dollar Tree for him to test out because a lot of them, if they're not the name brand ones, are really watered down. So I, I saw this and what attracted me to it was the label. So it looks like this. And it says energy, coconut, sweet orange, made in USA, paraben free, cruel, cruelty free. And this is shower gel. And ooh, I smelled it and I was like, mm. and then I go, oh, he deserves real body wash. This smells so clean, so good. It smells more fruity, like the orange in here. And what else does it say? invigorating, uplifting, and nourishing. It's aromatherapy. Um, made in USA, like I said. Where is this distributed? I don't know. Denmark? Newark? I don't know. Yeah, so I picked this up. This was $6.99. This was a huge bottle. I'm like, I would have, yeah. I, I love the scents and I told my husband I found this and I go, I think you deserve real body wash for a while. So I grabbed this and then I'll have to dispose of like the six body washes we have in our shower right now. So that was for that. Now, again, what did I, I'm tripping. Okay, so remember this sparked, this is gonna be a long video. This sparked the bathroom because then I found this, which I thought was so cute. And keep in mind, they had the soap container that had this image on it, but I really liked this one, so I didn't go back to get it. But a shower curtain, the kids always get like a fun shower curtain during the holidays or seasons. So hello pumpkin, it has like the back of the truck that says trick or treat. Totally, I love that it's white because it'll just open up that smaller bathroom. And this one was $14.99 and it's just a standard 72 by 72. But you guys, they had tons of different prints in these. They had like, um, they had cat ones. They had ones with like haunted houses and little like black trucks on them. They had so many. And for $14.99, I think it's so fun to dress up the bathroom for the kids, you know, and for mom. So, um, so where are you? So I don't know why, but look at how cute. And again, this actual image was on the front of these, but they're not the same brand. This one was by In Vogue. So got that. And then again, all of this is for their bathroom. This one is by Quill to Paper, which I was finding at Home Goods was really like the prices were really good for that brand. Excuse me. And this says happy Halloween gnomies. Look at how cute that is. And if my kids were older, they still have to use like a step stool to reach up. I would totally like put this on top of there or whatever. Like I would use that as like a soap holder I think that would be so cute, but my kids wouldn't be able to reach it. So we ain't gonna do that. So this was $5.99. And as you can see, like it's a little cube, so cute. That was $5.99, totally digging the gnomes. And then I found this to put in there. This one just says happy Halloween. Could I have made this one myself? Yes, I could have, but you know what? I was already on, I was going for it. So this one was by Quill to Paper and this one was also $5.99. And it's just a simple little house. It says happy Halloween on it. Just simple and, and that's fine. I, I really like it and I got it because I found this one, which is also Quill to Paper. And yes, I could have made this myself, you guys. I know I could have $6.99. And I thought this was like, and this has the glitter, thought this was perfection for their bathroom. Little monsters live here. Thought it was too cute. And I could totally 
I'll probably prop this one up like a little higher somehow, but I thought these were super cute together. And don't worry, you're probably like, girl, you got like haunted houses, gnomes, all of this stuff. I'll make it work. Okay, and this one. I have, they have a toilet box organizer that I made out of wood on the back of their toilet. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is gonna look so, it's a gnome. So, and it was by Hollow Home and it was only $10. So here's the little gnome. He has little feet. So I'll prop him up on like the toilet paper in the box and he will sit there. I need to probably get like a straightening iron and kind of straighten that out a little bit. But it says boo. Isn't that so stinky cute? Everly picked him out. They had so many other ones and I liked the other ones because they had like different color noses, like a green nose. One was holding like a pumpkin and had more color in it, but Everly liked this one because she said she doesn't like when the gnomes don't have arms. So that's why we got him because he has arms and she liked that a little better. So look at like the little detail of like the spider. His hat is so well done. And even this, this is actually, um, the actual strand it's on is wire. So I'm sure you could bend it or do whatever. I just need to get a flat, uh, my straightening iron and kind of just dab over that so we can straighten that out. But super cute and for 10 bucks. And you guys, I think that's finally all. I am so excited. Uh, I spent a lot of money. And you know what? I will tell you, we spent $368 on all of this stuff. Again, I did have a gift card that paid for half of it. So, um, so yeah, I, I think, I mean, we got a lot of stuff, like a lot of stuff, an entire master bedroom decor set, basically. I'm going to be able to decorate an entire guest bathroom. And then, yeah, I got like some other random stuff. So, um, I think I made out. I think I have a great selection. Make sure you're following me over on Unicorn Dust Designs as well because I'm going to be doing a redo and I'll show you how I decorate the master bedroom. And then I might do a separate one on the bathroom because I am gonna wait a little longer to do that one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it kind of like sparked a Maybe you can make it yourself, or maybe you want to go to Home Goods and check out what they have because seriously, there's so much. I could have spent hours in there. We walked in, and when we walked out, John was like, What day is it? Because it was already like nighttime. He was like sitting there with the kids in the car watching um, the football game and stuff. So it was pretty funny. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for your support. I truly, truly appreciate you guys spending your time with me. I know these videos are a lot longer, so they take more time out of your day. And I know we're busy being moms and doctors and, you know, like spouses and, you know, stuff. So thank you so much for spending your time with me, you guys. Again, I appreciate you. I hope you are starting off your week spectacularly and that it continues to go that way and i will see you back here on friday hopefully with the dollar tree haul i literally have no dollar tree items i haven't been to dollar tree um so hopefully i find some goodies hopefully my store has some stuff uh it'll be a busy week i just keep on chatting maybe it's the energy drink the kids start school this week so it will be busy but guess what you guys both of my kids are going to be in school full time Yes, full time. So I could go to the Dollar Tree by myself. Yeah. All right, you guys. For real, I'm leaving this time. Bye.